YouTube friends. What we're going to try to do today is remove this bleed valve which is stuck into the radiator. It's been rounded off and there's no way we can bleed the radiator. So I'm going to try and drill it out. We're trying to create a pilot hole here using a masonry nail just by tapping it gently with the hammer into the end of the brass bleed screw. Right, this is the tiniest uh, drill bit I can find in the box. It's uh, 1.5 millimeters. Right, that's the hole drilled out with the 1.5 millimeter steel bit. I'm gonna go to a slightly larger size now. Right, I've marked the drill bit. This is the 2.5 millimeter. Put a bit of tape on there so we don't go too deep. What we've got here is a screw extractor set, which uh, comes from Laser. You can get that at Halfords and places like that. Uh, I'm thinking the very smallest setting, the eighth, uh, that one there on the right, may we may be able to encourage it to go in that hole there and. If we're clever we may be able to twist it out of there. I'm going to push it in and give it a turn uh, probably using some mole grips or something it's impossible for me to hold the camera and do that so we're just going to have to hope for the best. Right, we're just letting the radiator fill up. Hopefully, when it's full, we will be able to screw this uh, this bleed uh, screw bleed valve back in. Okay, we shall see very shortly. Now, before we put it back together, I've taken the chance now to file down those flat areas in the hope we'll be able to use the um, the normal key to remove this uh, or to bleed the radiators. I've cleaned it up a little bit with that very tired looking brass wire brush. To remove the bleed screw from this uh, extractor tool we just get a grip on it with the mole grips, the look-alike mole grips and the monkey wrench, the crescent tool made in uh, Jamestown, New York. Good American piece of kit. Now to replace the um, bleed screw, I've just put a self tapper in the end of there, screwed it in and that has enabled me to put the bleed screw comfortably back in its uh, position and uh, it's sealed the radiator up again. So Ideally, you would want to have some fresh bleed screws available before you probably start doing this job. Um, I can probably take that back out now and that's the job done. But, um, you know, fresh bleed screws are probably a very good idea before you start doing this. Well, thanks very much for watching everybody and that is how you remove a rounded off uh, bleed uh, valve from your radiator if it gets completely stuck in there. I hope that helps some of you who've got into this predicament the same as I have and um, thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel that'd be good you'll be able to see what else we get up to.